First, I opened that PDF and I copied and pasted the outline into a Word document, and it all went caliwampus. So I'm going to tab, 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 tab. Now you'll notice that in the submission thing while I'm doing this, <clears throat> it says five to seven paragraphs. There, it may be possible that some of the information in this one of these sections is too long. We know the introduction is going to be one paragraph. And we know that the second one is going to be history of the town. And the third one is going to be one to three tourist attractions. Now, if you find uh, more than one tourist attraction that you want the reader to know about, then that's going to dictate the number of paragraphs you have. So, because we don't want to, we want our paragraphs to be eight or nine sentences. That's what a paragraph should be. Keep that as a rule of thumb as we learn how to develop a paragraph using this outline. So this is going to be attractions. Be good if I spelled it right. And then we have the festival. And then we have the conclusion. Now what I do when I'm researching is so much fun. And that is I will find facts that I want to put up here in the introduction. This is going to be my thesis statement. And for those of you who are left in the cold when it comes to thesis statements because nobody ever taught you, I'm going to teach you. So we're going to learn that right away. Okay, so we have the introduction. Okay, so what do I need to do next? That's right. I want to open up my EasyBib project before I start my little research. Here I am in EasyBib, and I have that same project open that we talked about before, so it's all set to go. And... Remember, EasyBib is where we have a free account. We log in and we set up the new uh, project. And we know that it's a new project because, just to refresh our little memory, since it's been a minute, we have my projects. And in my projects, we had added the new project of Americana Luling, Texas. Right? And when we click on that, that means everything that we research is going to go there. Okay? So, let's go and find our stuff on Luling. Now, there are several things that I want to study about this town, but the main thing is I don't want to waste my time studying anything that's not particularly called for. So, we have the Watermelon Thump that we know is their annual festival. And... We want to know about special events. We want to know about the history of the town. And we want to find somebody that we can talk to on the phone while we are researching. Fun new thing right there is their phone number. So yay! When I get, when the time comes, I'm not there yet, but when the time comes, I'm going to call that phone number as a place to start. And somebody may say, well, you know, Thelma over at the beauty boutique, she really does know a lot about the town, and they'll give you that number, and you'll call over there. But the place to start is the town phone number. And so <clears throat> we want to find out about what is it that we need to study. Let's go back and look at that outline just a minute. Okay, we need the history. We need the attractions. And we need, and that may be somebody famous that lived there. It may be somebody that drove through. You know, uh, we're not doing Paris, Texas. But in Paris, Texas, one of the big attractions is that it's the only county in Texas where two graveyards are connected by the same small highway uh, intersection. So, <laughs> you know, that's pretty big stuff. Uh, then we have the festival and we have the conclusion. So that's what we need to know. All right, so we go back here to, the, to our site. We look through that. Okay, now we're going to go on out to Google. We're going to leave this open because I'm going to be coming back and forth to here uh, to find out about more about this town. But I want to find the history. So let's go to Google, not waste any time. I typed in history of Luling, Texas. And I'm going to go here. I'm not going to go to Wikipedia. It's not going to do me any good. So I want to come down here and find the state historical records. Those are vetted websites. The historic Luling, Texas, Texas Scapes, that would be a good one. Luling, 
Chamber of Commerce organization might have some good information. I just skip right on past Wikipedia. It's not going to do me any good. They're not going to, I can't cite it, so why do I want to spend my day on that? Okay, so I'm going to click on, let's just start on this one. Let's just go back up here and go to Historic Luling, Texas from Texas Escapes. Fun. We see where it is. I may or may not want to put that map in my essay, but just in case I do, uh, there's some information about the text. The, the, look at that. Their water tower looks like a watermelon. Oh my gosh. I'm going to save that image. How fun. Save it over there in my little Americana thing. Wonderful. And before I get any further into this, I'm going to go ahead and add that to my work cited. Super easy. I always do it the very first thing. That way I don't have to worry about it later. Going back over to Easy Bib. And we're in the... Where the heck is our... Uh, hold on. Here we are in the Americana. We're going to... That was a website. We're going to paste that in here and hope that it finds it. If it doesn't, then we can always do it manually by filling in the little boxes. Okay, and it wants to know if there was an author. They want to know when it was updated. So let's go back over to that little website where we just were. And so this is uh, texasescapes.com is the That's their sponsor. There's the thing there. See if there was anything else. If there's not anything else, then we're done with it. We just put in whatever we... Oh, how cute. We put in whatever we can find. Okay. There's no author, so this isn't written by a person. That was what I was kind of looking for, to see if a person has written this information. But they haven't. Okay, so we're going to go back over here to easy bib and we're going to complete that we don't have anything more than this we'll just put 2020 because it's an updated site so then we scroll on down here complete the citation and it's going to say it needs a review again that means that it wants me to just i don't have anything else to add to it folks so i just ignore it okay one of the things i want to do i've got to remember to do is take out the all caps we don't want anything screaming at our reader. So later on, we'll make a note of that. Okay, so now let's go play in that website a little bit. We've got it cited. I don't have to think about that again. And let's see. What happened in Luling, Texas? I'm going to scroll through here. I'll be back when I find something fun. How cute is this? Once called the toughest town in Texas, time has tenderized Luling to a nice medium rare. Oh my gosh. I'm going to copy that quote, and I'm going to go over to my outline, and I'm going to see where will that go. Let's see. Let's see. It's not the history, but I think it's in the introduction. Okay, so I'm going to paste that right there. And I've got to put down where it came from. I don't want to have to go find it later. So we know how we cite something, because I have that little PDF in there, and I'm sure you've already studied it. Okay, that's Texas Escapes. Okay, Texas Escapes. Okay, so we're just going to put that in there, Texas Escapes. And now it's all cited. There we go. So that's, that's that. Now, let's go back and see what else I can find. See what I'm doing? I'm just going back and forth. I'm finding information that I can use, and I'm popping it into the outline wherever it might go. And one of the things that I'm going to make sure that I do, y'all, is uh, remember that one-third of this essay is going to be quoted. The rest of it's going to be in my own words. So all I'm doing right now is getting the pertinent information that goes there. Now, one of the big attractions is this, so I'm going to save that image. And that's the the Zedler's Mill. Oh, it's big doings. It was, for one time, it was the only mill around. And I can find more information by going there.
How neat is that? Okay, so I'm going to go over here to Zedler's Mills, and what do I do? That's right. I go right up here. I copy that. I go over to EasyBib. I'm going to create a new citation. It's a website. Paste, search, cite, continue. It's, was that article written by somebody? I need to go over there to Zedler's Mill. Is this written by somebody? Because if it's written by somebody, we we'll want to make sure that it's there. It is. That's a photo. And we'll certainly give her credit for that photo. Let's make sure I have that. I'm going to put that right here because that photo of Zedler's Mill is going to go in this section under Attractions. And I'm going to go ahead and put Zedler's Mill. And I'm going to put that image by so I can make sure she gets credit for that. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and insert the image right there just so I don't have to find it later. Because the more I can do now, the more I don't have to do later on. Okay, see? So I have this under Zedler's Mill. I'm going to go ahead and make it small for my outline. I can make it bigger later on. I just want to have it already there so I don't have to think about it later. See? Now that's my attraction for Zedler's Mill. And there's the image. And now I'm going to put, you know, the facts that I know about Zedler's Mill. I'll scoot that on down the road just so I have room to fill out this part of the outline. Let's go back over to Zedler's Mill. It's big doings. Okay, so I don't want the whole story of Zedler's Mill. And I don't want this whole thing about that. I don't want my reader to have to read that. What I want to find out about Zedler's Mill is whatever will attract the reader to say, Oh, I want to go see Zedler's Mill. It sounds adorable. Right? So I'm going to look at this small fact, and I'm going to find what I need, and I'll be back when I find it. I didn't really find much there except for that uh, image. So I went on over here, which is a uh, more explanation. So I can find my little facts better over here. So first thing I'm going to do is copy. I'm not going to show you this again. Uh, I'll just say create the citation. So that one was created. I need to find that that one was done then. Okay, so that one's done. It's a review. I don't have anything more to tell you. Okay, so now I'm going to create the new citation, and that one is for Zedler's Mill. Obviously, as you can see, I'm going to come up with more than four sources, but I'm you'll never see my name on a plagiarism report because I will cite everything. So this is the site that I just went to, and I'll be right back. So I filled in the boxes with all the information that I have, complete the citation, and go ahead and ignore because I've given it all that I have. Now, back over here to that. So I'm going to look through this information. I'm going to find facts that are charming and that might appeal to people. And that's all I'm going to take from this information. When I find it, I'll be right back and show it to you. I found two facts here. This one about when the Zedlers bought it. And then when it burned down and they had it rebuilt in seven weeks. Because that's what Texans do is adapt to inclement weather. So you can see I put those two things right here in the outline. This sentence is way too long and it's going to be cut down. And that way when I come back to it, I know the facts about the Zedler's Mill, which I'm going to edit. This sentence is too long, but I have it done. I know where it came from and I can move on. Now, what's the next attraction in Luling, Texas? I just typed in things to do in Luling, and, of course, that came from TripAdvisor. And what do I do first? That's right. Last time I'm going to take you through the process. Still in my project, Americana. Create the citation, website, paste, search, cite, continue. Fill in any boxes that I can. Okay, so this is, that came from TripAdvisor. 
And that's from TripAdvisor.com. And there it is. I, nobody wrote that article, so there we go. Complete the citation. Review it. Ignore. Back to that little thing. Now, I'm going to pick two of these to show because I had Zedler's Mill is one. I'm going to use the Oil Patch Museum. And you're going to think I'm silly, 